This is my house. Hi, I'm Bryce Tomlinson from NewGep Media, and today I'm going to talk to you about spyware and adware that you may have installed on your computer. Now, today I just finished up working on a friend's computer who was uh, who had 280 infections on his computer, and that's a lot, right? It's not even close to what's out there, but it is still a lot. So today I want to talk to you about the various things you might even have installed on your computer right now. You might even like them being there, but these are all threats. These are all things that are out there to get you, okay? One of the things is mouse tweaks. Anything that makes your mouse look pretty or some kind of little program that makes your mouse look cool or smileys, for instance. Any of those things that make your computer try to look cool, if it's a separate program for that, it is probably some kind of a trick that is aimed at kids and naive adults who want to pimp out their computer and make it look cool, but in actuality are infecting their family computer with spyware and adware so that when the grown-ups come back and they type in their credit card number to go buy something from HomeDepot.com, then those people have got your identity. Uh, SureSeeker.com, anything that says SureSeeker.com, that is a rogue search engine. Fun web products. Fun web products, really common to see that on people's computers is spyware. Anything with that name on it, spyware. Uh, mega upload toolbar, spyware. Cool www search, browser hijacker. That means that it redirects your, your, uh, uh, your web browser to someplace else. It may even take you shopping when you weren't even browsing for shopping stuff. Uh, my web search anything, my web search toolbar, my web search bar, adware with virus-like tendencies. It downloads a payload of other adware and spyware. Uh, weather programs. If you have a weather program installed on your computer, please get rid of it. They usually have adware installed in them and they might even be disguised as friendly weather programs and actually be uh, logging your key keystrokes and uh, recording your credit card numbers. Please, if you need the weather, go to a weather website, okay? LimeWire, this is a huge threat. File sharing programs of all kinds, okay? LimeWire, nothing on LimeWire is safe, and this includes FrostWire, LimeWire, anything else wire. Uh, you can get a virus from any song, picture, or program from here. Also, this program has backdoors programmed into it because the U.S. government requires that LimeWire allows them to monitor it. You get that? They can bust you for the things that you're downloading and file sharing. So check that out. Uh, he actually had two songs that he downloaded off LimeWire that were infected. Songs that were infected with a virus. How do you like that? Uh, Napster, Kazaa, Emule, eDonkey, BitTorrent, and anything else tyrant, uh, torrent. Uh, file sharing services are rampant with virus authors. Go buy your music like everyone else is supposed to. Like I said, like they're supposed to. Uh, because the U.S. government requires that uh, they allow them to monitor it. And you're not saving yourself any money by pirating all this music and software when you have to hire me to clean up the mess. Uh, no toolbar of any kind. That means MSN, Yahoo, Google, Bing, toolbars, they only serve to generate traffic for someone else's website. Bing, Google, Yahoo, MSN, etc., etc. Ask.com, the Ask toolbar. Any toolbar out there except for Roboform. Roboform, I recommend that one because that actually is a, an application that does something, okay? If you need to go to a search engine, just go there, like Google.com. Set that as your homepage you know you don't you don't have to uh, you don't have to have the Google toolbar there constantly generating traffic for their website basically going to their website and fetching little one-line ads and going to their website and, and doing search queues and pings and stuff like that that generates traffic for them and you're not getting paid for that how do you like that so no toolbar of any kind Google desktop just more adware to generate traffic for Google and slow your PC down that brings me to another point. Google Toolbar has been openly accused by Safer Networking, the guys that make SpyBot Search and Destroy, for being spyware. The, their program fits the legal definition of spyware. So where does that leave Google Chrome, which is basically a glorified Google Toolbar, right? So I'll leave that question up to you, whether you want to use Google Chrome or not. Whether it's faster or not, that's not even a question. But are you leaving your computer open to threats? 
I don't know. Morpheus, this file sharing program not only makes you vulnerable to attack, but is actually monitored by the U.S. government, and you can get in real trouble with this program. PSP wallpapers, questionable at best. PSP wallpapers, it's just a program that, that installs wallpaper. Why do you need a program for wallpapers? You can go get a JPEG and install anything that, that requires that you install a program for a wallpaper or for a font or for a mouse pointer. I'm sorry, that totally does not make any sense and it's stupid. So you shouldn't have that installed on there. Anything that tries to make your computer look cooler with a program is ridiculous. If it's not a screensaver anyway. Even some of the screensavers are uh, something to watch out for. MySpace, Facebook, or Twitter profile editors. These are all virus programs of a variety. Since MySpace, Facebook, and Twitter don't consult with your PC before displaying your profile to the world, why would you need anything more than a visit to a website to jazz up your profile? Virus. Virus alert, okay? This is totally targeting kids who are trying to pimp out their Facebook and MySpace and all that stuff. Dude, you totally don't need a program to do that. And if you install a program to do that, you need to get it off your computer ASAP, okay? Any game with Wild Tangent, there's a whole bunch of computers out there in the stores right now that come installed with Wild Tangent, which is a game monetization platform. It's adware. It's adware. It's basically some kind of legalized rogue adware that's out there, okay? And these are big name games that are installed on your computer and uh, I went through and I uninstalled all of them off of this computer because it's just, Wild Tangent is just a behemoth and it totally has no right being on this computer. Norton or McAfee anything. I can't tell you how many computers I have cleaned up using, uh, using other programs that uh, their viruses totally got through Norton and McAfee. So you know what, Norton McAfee, I used to be a customer of both of them. I used to have them. But here's the thing about Norton. So they say that they give you one year of updates, right? But six months into that, check this out. There's a new virus out and your computer becomes infected. And the only way that you can get rid of it is to have the new version of Norton. So, you know, uh, except, you know, it knows that it's a virus. It knows and it recognizes the virus, but it can't disinfect it because you don't have the new version. I'm sorry, that is totally bogus. Registry cleaners of any kind, and I'll tell you this with one qualifier. If you did not get it from me, almost all registry cleaners are spyware. They are something that is either a Trojan horse or a virus or a, some kind of thing that's going to hijack your computer completely. Registry cleaners are just, oh, they're just the most horrible thing in the world, okay? Most of them don't even work. The ones that, the ones that aren't spyware, most of those don't even work. There are one or two that I know of that do work, and uh, and I recommend those, but I don't even use them very often. But don't don't download registry cleaners. They are bad, 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 evil. Now, the qualifier I must tell you is that most of these programs that I've listed here, most of them, they come packaged with other things. So like you got a game and you're installing it and all of a sudden you've got the Yahoo toolbar or the MSN toolbar or you've got some kind of uh, music player that you didn't really need to play the game. Okay, this is why I always recommend that you use the advanced or custom configuration when you're installing. They usually give you like typical installation and custom installation. Always select custom because then you'll get the little check marks where you can uncheck when you want to install Yahoo Toolbar or MSN Toolbar or the Ask Toolbar or the, the Fun Web Products or the Adware Engine or something like that. And always read the end user license agreement because sometimes that adware is part of the license and you don't want it in there, which means you don't want the game. Okay, you can maybe find it someplace else where you don't have to have that adware installed to get the game. All right, so that's what I have for you today. This is my, uh, really, I, I think that this right here is a treasure trove of information and I hope that you enjoyed listening to me rant on about these things. So God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.